Melbourne, baby. I'm with Chad. Listen, there's a very, <laughs> there's a really cool bar here. It's called ABC. Okay. It's for poor people. <laughs> is that how they sell it? Well, it's like for students. But the point is you can go there and you can get really drunk for like a hundred bucks. And it always smells like piss and the floors have never been cleaned. So we have to go there. That doesn't sound like a place I'd want to go nah, to. Nah, it's really good. You'll trust me, you'll like it. You'll like it, trust All me. All right. So day out in Melbourne with Chad. We were supposed to do cold ones yesterday, but Guess what? Max got COVID. Take it's his third or second time having it. Oh my god. We're just immune, baby. We're built different. Hell yeah, built different. Leboos. Everything here is so sticky. sticks. Here, because everything's cheap, because they pre make all the cocktails. Yeah. And they um, have them on tap. Yeah. So when you come here, they're like cheap and you get a big scoop and you knock them over. So all this is just. Oh. <laughs> Look. Uh. Oh. No, 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 come on, COVID, bro. I can taste every cocktail. <laughs> Stop touching it. I can't. It's just, it just stops it. It's like, it's like glue. <laughs> I feel disgusting. Yeah. I need hand wipes now. At least the view's nice. Yeah, all the old heritage buildings that they did not yeah. down. They've converted all the old banks and then all the modern stuff behind it. Melbourne is bipolar because they keep getting new architects to come in and build new things. So yeah. they, get, they got one architect to build something because this was based off a Jap. Uh, this is actually based off a Japanese building. So oh really? Old hotel in Japan. I don't know if you know about it, but they, you can pull them apart and you can oh, replace them. It's meant yeah, for yeah, upgrading. Yeah. That was what that was based on. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's as shit as a lot of Japan. <laughs> I did one of those like long ass tours when we got here. So we um, when I first moved here, I don't know if they do them anymore. They used to have these party buses that would drive around the city. Oh yeah. And you could drink in them and it was disguised as like a tour group thing. So I know a lot about the city because we used to rent those out and go drinking on those buses all the time. Oh, that's cool. And we kept going on them so much, we kept make, making fun of the tour guide because he was using the same material every time. So because we booked it so much, what he would do is he would get new lines and new routes for us to take. And then one day he came in with full brand new material and we're like, <laughs> Oh, wow. So you passed the test. We, we made him go home and like rewrite his whole script, to redo up. That's how much we pissed him off. I haven't been back since like, I was 14 or 15 or something. I literally don't remember what it was like before. I feel like it's well, changed a lot. You're not going to remember much from tonight because I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to take you some places you're not going to remember. All right, how you feeling? You got me wasted and it's 4.30. Ah, uh, listen man, uh, two hours of drinking, you're good man, you're good. I think we had uh, like three shots and three drinks, right? Yeah, you gave me two uh, fireballs, was it? Thanks Chad. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> next bar, next bar, next bar, next bar. Chad's taking me to a gaming bar of sorts. It is the gaming bar. The owner has based the bar off his Dungeons and Dragons group. So you look around the room, you see Diablo. Bunch of Dungeons and Dragons yeah, stuff. Yeah, you see it like all around here. It's really cool actually. It's probably one of the most like legit gaming bars I've been to. You feel like you're in a tavern, you know? Yeah. And you can drink and they bring food for the table. It's a real good establishment. But Chad, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an epic gamer. What do you play? I'm yellow, Chad's red. I am so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> Nothing. What are you up to? Nothing. I'm just playing, I'm just playing a I friend. think I win. Do you? I don't win. <laughs> I refuse to lose while you're filming. I win. <laughs> Fuck! Stop doing that! One, two, three, four, baby. Did you even know? I did. Man, the day I win the Connect Four. Okay, <laughs> this is. This game sucks. You're thinking. I'm not losing this one. All right, all right. Uh, I win. <laughs> Try. I win. Oh, you were gonna win either way. <laughs> Fuck, hey, you got ten, me. Ten times, ten the, times charm. the charm, baby. I've worked it out. I've cracked the code. <laughs> as long as I have one win on camera, that's all that matters. <laughs> God damn it. All right, back to Uno. So, how many balls do you have, Joey? You got two balls, right? Yeah. <laughs> Can you open? Whoa! I'm gonna make like an and I put it in my pocket, right? Like, the second one I put it in my pocket, and the third one I put it in my pocket. Right. How many? One. <laughs> Bro, talk <laughs> off. Did you like it? Yeah? Yes, yeah, okay. liked it a lot. Where are we going, Chad? I don't know, man. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, where are we going, Chad? Let's go to some hidden bars. Yeah. Where all the rich people are with suits. Please, let's ruin rich people's nights. Okay. Can we? Sure. Yeah. Okay, what's the plan? We're gonna walk in one of these rich cocktail bars, okay? Yeah. 
and you're a rich Japanese businessman, okay? Okay. And you're in the, the adult industry. Okay. What, what are those fucking, those little, those little one-use cum things called in Japan? Tanga? You're in the tanga industry. Okay, yeah. We're merging companies in, in Australia, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay, well, just speak nothing but Japanese. Okay. So the first guy we meet, and I'll be like, I will translate for you. Yeah. I'm going to have no idea what you're saying. Yeah. But I'm going to translate it, okay? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna do this with the first guy we meet, and if I crack, I'm sorry. Yeah. And I tell him we were joking, but we just gotta live with it and move to the other side of the bar. But that's okay. what we're gonna do, okay? All right, all right. I'll film it on my phone, don't worry. All right, easy, easy. I hope this goes well. This is gonna fall off. <laughs> so it's because it's called, uh, what have I? Beneath Driver Lane. Beneath Driver Lane. Orange Door. Orange Door? So on Google was beneath, I was under Orange Door. There's an orange door. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it's it. This is not a bar, Joey. No, that's not a bar. No bar? Where's driver lane? This isn't hidden. Oh, Beneath Driver Lane, it says right there. That is not hidden. All right, here we are at Beneath Driver Street. It's not hidden at all. There's like a ton of people here. We're just gonna have drinks, I guess. Are we gonna stick to the plan? We're gonna stick to the plan though. If, if, a, if a rich person comes up to us, we'll stick to the plan. I'm Googling. Melbourne secret bar. <laughs> Is it gonna come up if you Google it? We're about to find out. What? My phone froze. It's so secret, my phone froze. <laughs> There's no reception down there. That's why it's secret. You got yeah. no phone reception. All right, hear me out. I will set my hand on fire. No, why? All right, okay. The bar crew has finally grown up. Oh, thank God. Rebs have been like, let me give you a fucking 10 page description. <laughs> give me a bar. Top 18 hidden bars. All right. Above board. The bar is common centered at the heart of a tiny room with only a handful of seats facing Hyde, Lambert, and the special drinks that put in the art back. Okay, that sounds awesome. What the fuck? It's a 13 minute drive away. You want to do it? No. All right. Okay, that's next too far. One. Too next far. One. Next one. Beneath driver. That's where we are. That's where we are. It's not, it's not secret. Not. It's not secret. Look at how many people there are. How do you pronounce that? Bar what? Oh, go. Bar Underground in a Paris by New York uh, Basin Bar Marks, a place where oysters are shuckled, champagne is popped, and steaks are sizzled until the tiny, the, the, the finest, the finest of hours. It has a 4.9. I feel like we're gonna get rejected. You think? Away we go. Hey, bro, what the fuck? Hey, man. Hey. Our little broth we made. Like we got it, we got like a little Asian store my friend owns. Why so, are you carrying um, around broth? Uh, well, like they, they wanted they wanted fifty cents for like a like a little plastic container. So I'm just like, nah, I'll just go to the store and. Are you gonna eat all that this. or? Yeah, man. Fuck yeah. So that's your takeaway <laughs> container. Yeah. <laughs> How much was the metal container? Oh, they were like fifty cents for a container. I'm like, bro, no, that's that's way too much. So where did like, this come from? Oh, from our store. Like I have a little store. Like my so friend you went to store. So hit me out. <laughs> Here's the scenario. You've ordered too much food. Yeah. You want to take away a container. She says 50 cents. And you yeah. go. No. Fuck that. Shit. Not happening. <laughs> so you run across to your store. Yeah. And get this. And just shove it all in there in front of me. Oh my I'm god. Saying, I respect that. I that, respect that, that. Is, that is galaxy brain right there. <laughs> See you guys. See you guys. I'm Melbourne tour guy. A lot of stores have a lot of these bare bricks and they make millions of them. They ain't special. Right. Therefore, hello, how you going? Let me get that for you. Sorry guys, have a good night. The city has a weird obsession with bare bricks. So right. any store that opens up, like, let's just put bare bricks at the front and, and people come. A lot of Japanese places also have these bare bricks It's as a well. fucking trap. If you see anywhere with shit like this, it sucks. <laughs> uh, Sorry, so we are at Storyville. So this place is open late and it's, it's, it's nice. Let's go have a look. <laughs> okay. Let's go have a look here. So this bar is notoriously good looking on the inside. Yeah. But when nightclub mode kicks kicks in, uh, the gremlins come out the place. Oh, look at that! Look at this little, cute little, like fairy tale doll. This is so cool. It's like a fairy tale. There's a giant mushroom right there. Dad's ordering uh, some kind of mystery cocktail right now. My mom would love to hear that I'm doing yeah, drugs. Yeah, your mom. <laughs> She's a lens. Oh, it's quite nice. It's a bar, but it's like it's here apparently. It's it's next to it's next to this place bar here. Bar Magura. Oh, there. That is not a secret <laughs> bar. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it says massively, Margo. Open late, seven days. Bruh. I'm getting really disappointed in that. You said it was hidden. Come on, like, you're walking past. Would you notice that's a bar from the street? I mean, if I looked over and I saw this, yeah. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> 
Come on, let's go. So supposedly this isn't a hidden bar, but the bartender said there is a more hidden bar around Melbourne once we order a drink. So let's order a drink. I can see why it's called a petite martini. Because Arkham is so small. It's so tiny in your hand. Cheers. Bartender has given us part two of the quest. All right. Manchuria. The vibes, the jams, the lighting, and the atmosphere. I actually even held my birthday party here. All right, finish your drinks, let's do it. From this road. We are ridiculously close. Fuck off. I went to a bar here the other day. Is this it? I don't know. It might be. So you've already been here? I don't know. I don't see any signs. Do so I see? This isn't very hidden though. Yeah, I went here the other day. <laughs> you kidding? Okay, so the, they have this drink called the lemon drop, which is fucking amazing. It's like a lemony kind of uh, cocktail. I don't know if they have it on the menu though. I don't think they do. All right, I'm gonna get three lemon drops. I'm gonna ask. I got two recommendations. Our next bar is either Trinket or Bar Americano. Two suggestions from two different bartenders. We have to try them out next. Let's drink these lemon drops in the meantime. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Is what? That, that's that's no, that, that's a that, 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 blowfish. That, what is it? Sorry, mate. It's an interpretation of a blowfish. No, it's definitely a cock. Is this a secret oh, bar? No. I mean, it's kind of secret. You it's in an alleyway. I wouldn't go down here while I was sober. Well, we tried to go to Bar Americana. Way too small. Way too crowded. So we're going to the next one. What's the next one called, Chad? Trinket. Trinket. It's a ten-minute walk. This actually looks like the kind of alley you die. Yeah. Wanna die? No. No, sorry. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Melbourne good. Highly recommend. I'm not just saying that because Chad has got me shit face right now. <laughs> what do you say? This is Party Central, right? This is definitely Party Central right now. Yeah. I have a feeling it's down here, even though Google Maps doesn't say so. I have a feeling for some reason down here. Because this looks like you get where you get killed, right? Yeah, you definitely get stabbed here. This is such a cool alleyway though. Look at this alleyway. It's just completely covered in graffiti. It's such a sick alleyway. Chat, where are we going, bro? Uh, we're in for a double war glaive warrior. <laughs> hey, a uh, double war glaive warrior, Fury. I've got full 99s on Warcraft lugs. Now let me ensure. No, they won't. <laughs> okay, what the actual fuck? So we, we were down this alleyway, right? And we we're like, where the fuck is Trinket? It's right here. It's literally right here. Sorry, I'll let you guys through. Double war glaive warrior, but I'll let you guys through. <laughs> so there's a bar who one of my friends works at. Voodamon, most fanciest restaurant in the city. Obviously, we can't get a table and get food, but I think Raj, my friend, will get us a table at the bar. So we're gonna go there next. Voodamon, there it is. Yes. It's right there. Voodamon. Voodamon. Uh, this is the worst vlog I've ever taken. <laughs> it'll work, it'll work, it'll work. Trust me, trust me, it'll work. Chad has taken us to the highest point in Melbourne. Look at this view. Look at this crazy view. Beautiful nightlife in Melbourne right here. I just tried to vlog in the toilet. And what happened? And some dude walked in, immediately recognized me, had to go out, take a photo, but that was the weirdest fucking toilet ever. It's a really nice toilet, but like the urinals are pointing like towards each other. So when you piss, you gotta look at other people in the face. Not only was it a dude who recognized me, but he came to Smash and he made God sign uh, dildo that he created, like 3D printer. Hey, you can't make this shit up. Your pants are weird, bro. I know. <laughs> What's happened? I don't know, you tell me. We went to like some like secret fucking, like private, this is the most fucking secret bar Sorry? ever. We're at the back of Voodamon. Hey Chad, was it you? Like you had uh, like- Give uh... me the sword. I'm a, I'm a double war glaive warrior. Don't, don't trust Chad with a, with a sword. Yeah. Listen, you're talking to a double war glaive warrior. <laughs> I want you to remember that. This is gonna go so bad. Yeah. Three, two, one. Where are we? Explain calmly. Chad said that this is the best view of Melbourne no. City. No, he said Sydney. Sorry, Sydney view. The this best is, Sydney view. This is Melbourne. This is the best Sydney view of Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know someone threw themselves off this building and died? How? Why would you say that? I am back in my Airbnb and I am going to go to sleep. It was a great night though, hanging out with Chad and uh, yeah, he took me to some awesome bars. I felt like I got the proper Melbourne experience, so I'm glad for that. Shout out to Chad, big love to the dude. But my bed is right there and I'm going to pass out. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah. 
hit hit my face to subscribe to the channel if you want to see crappy vlogs like this here's some more videos you can check out to the side of me as well yeah i'm not i'm not in the right state of mind to be able to show, tell you guys to subscribe all right anyways have a good one i'm gonna go to bed watch me uh, uh.